You have a friend. You know your friend's behavior very well. And you know your friend's parent. And one day, you see your friend has the exact same behavior as their parent. So you want to tell your friend you're all excited. You say, hey, Bill, you're just like your father. And then back away from Bill, because Bill's going to go ballistic. Bill's going to say, how can you compare me to my father? And be very upset. Most people laugh when they hear this story because they're very familiar with it. I say, what's the point? And the point is this. Everyone else can see that Bill behaves like his father. The only one who can't see it is Bill. The reason is simple. The reason he plays the program is because his subconscious program was downloaded from his father, so he knows how his father behaves. But when Bill is thinking, his conscious mind lets go of the wheel, goes inside, but now the subconscious is going to drive the car, but that's his father's behavior. But Bill can't see it. Why? Because Bill is thinking. So the issue about this is up to, and here's the unfortunate number, 95% of the day, we are not running our life with our conscious creative mind. 95% of the day is the amount we think. And therefore, 95% of the day is the amount your life is being controlled by the programs in the subconscious most of which do not support any of your wishes and your desires. And this is why we struggle in life. You say, I want to be successful, I want to be healthy. And then you find out you're not successful and you're not healthy. And you say, no, but I want to be and I want my creative mind to make me that way. And I go, but you're not using your creative mind, you're using the program. And that means you have no power over the behavior when the program is running. So we become victims of whatever programs that we have. Now, the programming occurred in the last part of pregnancy through the first seven years. So now there's an issue. You're going to say, but Bruce, what, what, are, what are my programs? And I say, you have trouble because you can't tell me what program you got at zero. You can't tell me what program you got at one year old. You can't tell me what program you got at two years old. So we were not conscious, <laughs> so we didn't see the program. They were automatically being downloaded into the subconscious. Well, if you want to take control of your life, the most important thing is to know what the program is. So I'm going to help very simply with a simple insight, and it is this. Whatever you like that comes into your life, it comes in because you have a program to let that in. But here's the important one. Whatever you want or whatever you desire, and you have to work really hard at it to try to make it happen. You put a lot of effort into it. I want this to happen. I'm working real hard. And I say, why, why are you working so hard to make that real? The answer, it turns out, is whatever you're trying hard to get and it's not happening is almost always because the program in the subconscious mind does not support that conclusion. So you're not struggling with the outside world being a victim. I wanted to be healthy. I wanted to be successful, but the world didn't let me. That's what people think because they can't see their own behavior. So they, they say, I want to be successful. If it didn't work, it must be the outside is not helping me be successful. Oh, I'm a victim. And I go, no, you haven't seen 95% of the day you could sabotage yourself all day long. And then it turns out the issues with your life are not from the outside. They're the invisible subconscious behaviors that you're playing that are getting in the way of what you really want. So all of a sudden I say, so look at your life. As I said, the things you like that come into your life, they come in because you already have a program. But the things that you want, desire, would love to have, and you have to work and struggle to get it, it's not the environment. You're not a victim of outside forces. It's only because of your own subconscious programming. Well, does that mean you're going to be a victim your whole life? Well, here's the important conclusion. If you know where you're struggling, then you know where the problem is. I want to be healthy. I'm not. So then you don't have a belief in your own health. So if you start to understand what the program is that's interfering, 
you can change the program. Well, this becomes a problem for a very simple reason. I said the two minds have different functions. Conscious mind is creative. Subconscious mind is habit. But I also said they learn in different ways. The conscious mind being creative can learn in any number of ways. Go to the flow seminar, read a self-help book, watch a video. You can even go, aha, I have a new idea. And the conscious mind changes because it's creative.